Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kev Tech here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I want to do interview questions. Obviously, if you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. All right. So we're going to do interview questions. I think this is part 13. Um, and answer some questions. Some of these I have done answered before in the past. Some of these I have not answered in the past. Um, if you want me to make interview questions that you may have questions on that maybe you had interviewed in the past, always share them with me because I always make videos on these. I do have a playlist for interview questions. All right. Um, question number one, what is your experience with Office 365? So I'm familiar with Office 365 installation. I'm familiar with Office 365 exchange admin or admin center. That includes assigning licenses. That includes giving someone access to delegation. That includes giving someone send on behalf access. That also includes um troubleshooting calendars or like giving someone permissions to calendars so as far as office 365 is concerned it really depends what you're asking for but um you know, just give them a general answer like oh yeah i'm familiar with office 365 i've done exchange admin administration in the past i've done sharepoint admin in the past i've done OneDrive admin in the past i'm familiar with those things i'm familiar with troubleshooting word excel powerpoint so that's how you would answer that question all right Question numero dos, number, number two. How do you troubleshoot all the when it doesn't open? So this, this one is not hard. Um, so you could do a couple of things. You could create a brand new profile, which I don't recommend doing that first typically when I, when I train someone. I typically tell them to try to open up Outlook in safe mode. So you could open up, you run Outlook in safe mode and you run Outlook.exe uh, space sla uh, forward slash um, uh, safe and you should be able to run it. So like if you go into... I'm not going to share my screen, but I'll tell you right now what the command is. I'll look at exe space forward slash safe. It's not safe. It's actually safe mode. So you run that in safe mode. And what that what that basically means is you're opening up Outlook without the add-ons. Because a, a lot of these programs come with add-ons that you add on. Like you can put an add-on on Excel. You put an add-on on Word. You can put an add-on on PowerPoint. Um, you can even put an, an extension add-on on Chrome. So, like, basically, you're removing all the add-ons. So, basically, what that means is if it opens up just fine, that means one of your add-ons is corrupted. So, how do you fix that? So, you have to do process of elimination. So, you may have to uninstall some add-ons to figure out which one is the one that's causing it and maybe reinstall it after that. You could do the process of elimination by unchecking, rechecking add-ons to see which one is the one that's messed up. There are certain ways to fix that problem. So if Outlook doesn't open, it could be an add-on's corrupted. Um, it could also be that their mailbox is full. I've seen that happen before. It could be that their hard drive is full. I know, I know that sounds crazy, but that has happened to me before in the past. If your hard drive is full, your Outlook is not going to open because your Outlook stores this profile, which is called the OST profile on your local computer. And as that grows, it takes up space on your computer. And if your computer is full, you can't really do much. So there'll be several reasons why Outlook doesn't open, but... For you guys, just say, I open up Outlook and say, well, that's it. Don't go crazy with it, okay? Um, how do you fix an issue with someone that can't search on Outlook? Same thing. Uh, there is the, you can rebuild the index. So um, that's that's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is you open up services. And basically, you go into your services. And you look for what's called, it's called Windows Search. That's your service. And then you go in there, you stop and rerun it again. That may fix that problem. But usually rebuilding the little building the search functionality or the index is typically what I recommend you do. It's called the index options. And you could rebuild your profile. And I was obviously not sharing my screen, but you know what I mean. So that's how you would fix that problem, or that's how you would solve that problem. Um, question number four is this is this easy one? How do you reset someone's password? Obviously. You open up your um, Active Directory. It could be maybe you have our set tools. You you open that up. You search the end user, Billy, whoever, Sal. Um, search, right click, reset password. That's it. Change the password. That's it. You're good to go after that. Nothing crazy. The reason why I'm going over um, reset password because I have ten people that I have worked with recently, and they're they've been getting a lot of Active Active Directory questions. And their, their, the common question was how to reset a password, which is why I'm going over. I know that sounds 
silly, dumb, easy, but you should know how to do that. All right. Uh, what MDM tools are you familiar with? So that's mobile device management. So I'm familiar with Moss 360. I have experience with Mobile Iron. And I'm also familiar with the default ADM for Office 365. And, uh, and, and Intune, I have experience with Intune as well. So that's just my experience. Of course, everyone's experience is different. That's how I answer that question. Uh, what ticketing systems have I used in the past? I use Jira, ServiceNow, Salesforce, uh, Remedy. That's my experience. I'm not sure what your experience is, but that's my experience. I'm going based on my experience. Um, what is SSO? SSO is single sign-on. Um, a lot of companies use like Okta, for example, and basically with single sign-on, basically what it allows you to do is it allows you to simultaneously connect to multiple apps by only signing in once. And basically a lot of these companies have a portal or a website and all the apps are right there. They could use Okta, it really depends on the company. And you just click on the app and just signs you in automatically. You don't gotta really put your password in again. That is the advantages of having SSO. All right. Um, last question. Uh, what is your experience? What experience do you have with Intune? I have Intune experience. I have deployed Intune on end, on on end users machines. I have done patch management using Intune. I have run PowerShell commands using Intune. I have experience setting up applications using Intune. I have experience setting up um setting up mobile device management with Apple for Business Manager on Intune. Um, I have experience with also setting up endpoints and actually installing Intune for endpoints and stuff like that. And I combined it with um, Managed Engine is how, what's the experience I have done in the past. So that's how I answer that question. Obviously your answer will be different, but it's just my experience. Anyway, hope this video helps you out. If you have any questions or concerns, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll be around. Have a good one, take care, bye.